Hi friends, this is Riti Podar here again and uh, today I'm going to flip through this beautiful TN and uh, I have set this up for the month of March. I know I'm late but I was waiting for a few of my packages and kits to come in but I decided to use my Planners Anonymous high tea kit for setting this up and of course I've used some bits and pieces from here and there. So let's get started. So before I get into the opening of my TN, you can see how chunky it has become. And uh, this is a four dory. This is a four leather dory um, from Simple Hearts by Xenia. And that's her store logo. And uh, this is a beautiful mint green. Okay, so as you can see on the spine, I have this beautiful charm. And it's made of I think it's made of clay and uh, I got this from my friend Atelis and uh, she makes all these beautiful gorgeous charms and I think she hand painted them so see how beautiful how intricate her work is absolutely gorgeous and she does customized work as well I'm going to link her details below in the description box so look at the beautiful beads I thought this was perfect for this planner, uh, this theme, being a chai tea theme, the high tea kit. So, okay, for the front, I just made a little notebook out of the scrap pieces of paper, uh, my A4 size uh, plain sheet of printer paper, and I just covered it using some of the leftover printed papers from the kit. and. Uh, I have already done an unboxing video for the same kit and I will be linking the uh, link below. I will be giving the link in the description box below. So this is how it looks. I just created a little tag. This is a, I think this was, this ta tag was from Target and sent to me by a friend in a swap. So this beautiful clip is there, the felt flower and just uh, plain papers and I just tapered it together to look like a notebook so this is what it, this looks like I'm going to fix that up later so this is what the front looks like I think this came out so beautiful so chic okay so let's start with this side I have two small pockets in the front and one large pocket, secretarial pocket at the back. So in the front, I just added a few quote cards from the kit itself and uh, some uh, tags from that dollar bin, target dollar bin, which was sent to me by a friend. So I added, I added one more here, it says imagine, and uh, another quote card here. So. Over here at the back, I just stuffed in some more papers. So this was from a friend who gave me some of her papers a uh, long time back. When she came back, she went on a holiday uh, to UK and she picked up a few craft supplies and she shared it with all us friends. So, and I think I waited for the right time to use it for this beautiful tea time kit. I think it matches perfectly. So that's there. And then I just um, made this uh, washi sampler. So these are the three washis that came in the kit and the rest I used in my setup. So I just added some of those. And this is, I think if I'm not wrong, this uh, is an acrylic piece die cut from Heidi Swap. And I have used quite a bit of these in my planner. And I'm going to show you where. So, this was a paper clip from uh, the Planner Society box. So, that's my dashboard. Okay, moving on. Sorry, that's my uh, front pocket. And this is my dashboard. And I created this using my own laminating sheets. And I made my own pockets. So, I make quite a lot of them so every time I don't have to think of getting a new one or buying so and they're pretty thick quality 
acrylic sheets uh, lamination sheets so okay um, I made this sweet little pin with this dangling heart and this came from um, crafters corner so they have this in a lot of colors and I used the baby pink or the light pink heart and I just used a little gem clip and just I just put this through it so that's there and then I just used this die cut from this kit to hold the front and the back so at the back I just cut out a little piece of doily a square doily uh, that again I received in a swap and then this acrylic heart is from Heidi Swap a little piece of that pattern paper from the collection and uh, a sticker from the reset curl so I think this adds some sweet element to the entire setup okay so this paper is also from that um, the collection that my friend shared with us and I think this is so pretty it had those little uh, blue teacups all over and uh, I think this is coming off so I just need to fix this So these are the papers that my friend got me and uh, look at that and I think it matched this set so beautifully. These are all single sided papers. Uh, I don't know which brand these papers are from but along with this she also gave us a few die cards but I don't have them I guess. Not sure. So anyways I just cut out. Uh, tea time from this paper and I just put them on some green twine and I just stuck a doily behind so let me take that dashboard out to show you it's gonna be easier like that okay okay so this is a front and it's a single sided so I just folded my paper into half now you can see the pattern of the paper it's so pretty it's got teacups teapots on that pale blue wooden background so this large teacup um, die cut it came from the planners anonymous kit and the banner here came from this paper that I cut apart so and this beautiful large die cut also comes in the kit so I just laid her on top of this doily and on that pattern paper. So I think she looks so pretty. And I'm going to just quickly put her back inside there. Okay, so that's done. So next I have this craft um, insert. And uh, I wanted to keep it a little simple. So the cover I left blank. I just added some washi below and this one came in the kit and this one I think is from Michaels so and I use this adhesive backed pocket and uh, this is this pack I use a lot of these packs and uh, several you get 10 in each pack in different sizes so that's a clear pocket envelope and I just stuck this pretty die cut here inside and just added a little sticker a reset girl sticker and I just tucked in this little uh, piece of backing paper that pattern paper that pretty doilies and I added my wink of Stella clear shimmer I don't know whether you can catch the shimmer but it looks so pretty so that's what my insert front looks like the cover and inside I just added a little more washi to this I think I just love her and she's the tickled pink washi so this was the tickled pink limited edition washi so I added her to that and on the right I just clipped on a few blank journaling cards and there's one acetate uh, journaling card there just 
to lift it up and one journaling card from the kit it says you're my cup of tea so that's there and uh, just another large journaling card at the back and uh, another charm okay so I just added a few more stickers so that's one insert and uh, this is the back of the dashboard so here again uh, this paper was also from uh, the collection that my friend gave me so I just folded it into half and um, I just added the sticker to it a hug in a cup that came in the kit and uh, some washi and this clip this beautiful clip is there and for the back I just added a little piece of the doily of square doily it looked like that so I cut up into four pieces so I used one piece here and these die cuts also came in along with the paper that my friend sent me so I added a little bit of these gemstones I had with me in my stash so just a little bit of it on the body and it gave it some beautiful um, elements I think and that washi up there from the kit so I kept it a little subtle and beautiful okay next up I have my uh, three pocket uh, insert extra so I kept all my stickers from the kit some die cuts some more stickers and then I just added this clip this is from the planner the um, yeah the planner society and on this side I have a long pocket so I just added two of the card backings from my Planners Anonymous high tea kit one die cut and this is a Prima uh, paper clip and I just took off the paper clip to just use it as an embellishment okay so I made this three pocket insert I love to add certain elements such as this to my uh, planners and my travelers notebook because I'm um, I love to make albums but since I'm not doing that right now I try to incorporate a lot of those elements in my planners and my Travis notebook so I used my pattern paper to create this beautiful um, insert with pockets here and this little flap it holds this large envelope and um, I added some cards to it so I'm gonna to get to this in a minute but let me tell you what I did on the front so on the front I just cut up a few uh, designer sheets from the collection added a few um, die cards layered it up added this doily again some stickers from the reset girl and uh, some more die cards from the paper collection that my friend gave me and I tucked it behind the girl and I added some shimmer to her dress I don't think my camera can catch the shimmer very well but it looks pretty in person and I added two little sticker masks so that's how she looks and I think she looks gorgeous so that's there and okay so this insert has this pocket so um, I printed this pocket of my printer my Epson printer and I used my Prima vellum it was um, this vellum it's the silver vellum by Prima so I used a sheet of this and I printed out uh, rather I just scanned this pretty uh, design from the kit and I just made a little border out of it so that I could create a pocket for my traveler's notebook insert so I made that pocket I folded the edges and the bottom edge and I just taped it down using my ATG and I just filled in the pockets with lots of goodies so it makes it so much interesting and yeah I just cut up a few random uh, papers from uh, tags from the papers in my stash 
so I created tags and this journaling card also came in one of the collections that my friend gave me so few more tags and these are printables free printables of Pinterest this was another paper clip and this was the die cut that came in the planners anonymous kit so I'm gonna just attach that and this is another pin from the planner society let me zoom in a little okay so this is a planner society paper clip and this was another die cut from the planners anonymous kit and I added another acrylic heart from Heidi Swap. So I think it looks so pretty. And of course, some stickers to go in from the same collection, the Reset Girl. Okay, and it looks like this that pack. The, it's from Carpe Diem, word label stickers and you get uh, eight sheets and there are four different uh, sticker pages and you get two of each. So four I have here and the four I've tucked in into my TN. I'm going to show you. So on the right side of the insert, I have a doily tucked in two journaling cards from the Planet Anonymous kit. A few more bits of papers and die cards. So I just and that's the that's another gem pearl heart-shaped gem pearl from my stash and again that Heidi Swap acrylic butterfly and I just stapled it onto the doily behind so let me just zoom back again and I just attached a mini envelope here added some washi this is the Prima chipboard mini clip but I took off the clip to just use it as an embellishment and uh, I made a couple of cards here so these again are printed papers from my stash another card and I'll show you this so I used my stamps from the collection and uh, I added this beautiful girl here and the inside is blank so the second one I just randomly stamped the teacups and the cupcakes all over and the sentiment says a party without tea is just a meeting so another card there and I created this little file folder flip thing just to add photos and pictures and other journaling stuff maybe so that is there I'm going to list another sticker okay I added another pretty little macaroon from Prima itself that was a clip and another reset gold sticker it says planning is my love language and over here it says Planners, washi, stickers, and pens. Oh my. <laughs> Some more washi and a little book or uh, sticker. So that completes our um, handmade trifold insert, pocket insert. And at the back, um, I just added these few um, sticky notes. And this came from Happy Scrappy, one of the kits from Happy Scrappy. And I think it goes very well with the tea line, the tea collection. Yeah, so that's there I mean who doesn't like toasts with the tea and coffee so this is another Annie plans printable for 2018 and it's a monthly calendar so I just use that um, okay so I made another 
um, I just covered another insert that I have and um, using the papers from the collection and uh, I just made a little shaker pocket here added some die cuts also some sequins from the uh, sequins that came in from the kit so I added that added some stickers on top did some washi and this is what the front and back looks like so that's there this is just another clip I got in a swap and um, I added this little bookmark here this again is from happy scrappy and I think it goes so well with the theme so it says bloom where you're planted and um, this is my just daily journal and I haven't done much it's just the starting so this is just one of the pages that I did okay so this is the end of the inserts and now the last one the three um, acrylic pocket insert that I used to store my um, stickers in this is the back and it is a zippered pouch and in it I have a few journaling cards some random stickers that I use quite often and some um, acrylic pieces from the Heidi Swap collection hearts and butterflies I have a pink pen and um, this is the page tabs that came in in with the planners anonymous kit and one more journaling card from this is from I think um, happy scrappy so I added all of these here it's quite filled in and the back I have the pen from the kit and uh, just a few beautiful uh, plan uh, designer papers the stickers from the reset girl uh, carpe diem collection and uh, this was a sticker that i turned into a planner clip i don't remember whether i think american crafts i'm not sure but these are the felt stickers and uh, some more uh, pattern paper and some beautiful stickers masking tape so this is what my march tn setup looks like and uh, I had a lot of fun putting this together. So if you all enjoyed my flip through, if you all enjoyed how I set up my planner, do give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such planner related videos. If you have any requests for me, don't hesitate to mention those in the comment section below and I'll be happy to read them and work on them. Thank you so much for watching and stopping by. I hope you all have a lovely day ahead. Thank you and bye-bye.